good to go. Yes, sir. <laughs> we have no dope. service now. No, nah, we got Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. Yeah, we got Wi-Fi. Um, I can't say it out loud. Let me just do it. <laughs> What's going on, people? What's going on? No, 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 no. Oh, we're good. We just getting everything situated, and we're gonna start. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We are active right now. We is live. Wait to the people coming in. Live. <laughs> Yes, yes, oh, yes, yes, yes. You know the vibes. You know the vibes. <laughs> you oh, here. Um, how's it going, everybody? Um, we are Unscripted Podcast All Talk. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, we have Gio with us again. It's such a pleasure to have you back. What's up? How are you? <laughs> we appreciate you coming yeah, through, Yeah, man. always, always, always. You last week? Yeah, yeah, man. What was that? It's all good. You know, Gio was a little sick, but he's back and he's here. With all the energy, yeah, yes. ready to talk, you know. We're good to go. Do yeah. what we're supposed to do and have a, you know, a wonderful, magnificent time. So today's topic, um, yes. before we even get into it, um, I just want to reintroduce my boy um, GQ Win, the God. GQ Win. Yeah. yeah. GQ Win. Okay. Um, How do I? N- t- so, so now, so that you see us, you can go to our live. Yeah. And then lower the volume because you're gonna get that shit. Massive oh, yeah. feedback. All the yeah. way down, yeah. Got so it. nobody and hears now it. You can just share it. Um, share. Yep. And then. To so whoever you want. We can select everybody. You can select everybody. Yeah. But you gotta do it manually. Oh shit. Yeah. yeah. You remember? Yeah. So one by one like that. Yeah. 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 I know. It's Sorry. A, it's a bitch, but. Um. We good though. We good. So we got my boy GQ in. We got Geo from Geo Events. Yes. Um, you have myself, Sam, aka Legacy. Um, I'm not texting. I'm just like sending. <laughs> <laughs> so, wow. Okay. Yeah, you definitely can. Um, it's that Facebook. Oh, it's asking I'm able for to Facebook. Start a conversation. All right. Just all yeah. Right, let me see. Just just do like. Probably like. How come? Where are all the rest of my friends? I don't know. It's it's. Oh, oh they're, they're right yeah, here. Yeah, they're they're stopping you yeah. from spamming. I think. Got oh, okay. Me, got me. <laughs> all right so um we're excited to have you guys back happy new year if we haven't said that to you guys already um and so we're going to be discussing today's topic is going to be immaturity and the reason you know me when i always go through some life experience or something like that that makes me want to talk about these topics yeah of course. so um i recently had a conversation with an ex of mine, mm-hmm. right? And she basically like revealed some hurt that she's still dealing with based off the things that I said. Okay. And the reason why it's relevant is because I feel that now being older, being a father who's raising a daughter, mm-hmm. yeah, your mindset kind of changes as when your approach is to women and everything else like that. So, you know, I'm looking back and I'm like, damn, bro. I, I try to like. I didn't realize. I should have done this before. But you know, like yeah. how immature I was and how vain. I mean, in, in an extent, I still am. Yeah, yeah, no, of course. You know what I mean? I think that's just human nature. You know, you are attracted to what you're attracted to. You are, you know, whatever. But I couldn't believe that I said some of these things. And so the funny thing is, is because there's no age for immaturity. Nah, never that. Got it, got it. You know that, yeah. I mean, I think you experience, you experience it all the time. Some people, you know, some people grow out of it quicker than others. But I think at some point we all do it in some way. No. So here's the question for the both of you. Have you had a moment where you could say, look, I'm going to change or somebody revealed it that you did something that hurt them in an immature manner and that you recognize it because you can make because sometimes some people might say something to you and you'd be like fuck out of here you know what I mean but then there's times you like like for me it, it genuinely resonated with me I was like damn I, I can't believe I made this person feel this way hmm. you know what I mean yeah, I know I, what you're and, saying. And, and and so I wanted to talk about immaturity and how can you recognize it how can you adjust it how can you you know let because you know there's something that you just like i said it doesn't have an age it doesn't have an age it doesn't have anything to say okay 
You know, like there's nothing that says, "Yo, I'm I'm, I'm mature now." Like, yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, exactly, yeah. I get exactly. it. I get it. So, have you guys experienced anything like that? Have you guys immaturity wise? I think I think everybody has a moment when they've definitely been immature. Um, to notice those things, it's pretty much after the fact. I don't think like even when you're in that moment when you're even being immature, you're not really gonna recognize like you're really like being immature to that person, but for the most part, when somebody actually brings it up to you and actually tells you about, like, what you did, it's like, damn, like, you know, I'm really sorry, but then, like, you realize, like, you grew out of that stage, and then, you know, there's moments where you could still be immature in, like, so many different situations because you just really don't realize what you're doing sometimes. I think yeah. it's just, it's it's the way your thought process is, I feel. Like, once you think about something and the way your your, your mind goes, depending on how you feel, you get that reaction because whatever that situation could be, it may have triggered you in a way for you to be immature, you know, in that, in that sense. And like probably say fuck off or whatever it is, yeah. you know? So it's, it's really hard for me to even say like, you know, I probably, I've, I probably have done it, but I just, I like to, for me to like think back and like realize like, Oh shit. Like I really hurt that person. Like I really try my best not to hurt nobody. Yeah. You know, I've always felt like that. I never wanted to even hurt nobody, but, if I ever did, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but what, like we spoke about this, we were going to do this show last week about the yes. same topic. Like what made you think about that topic? So, like, so here's the situation. Um, so this specific person is still in my life. We're not together. Um, and, you know, she is, my daughter loves her. So... You know, I was speaking with my daughter, and she was bringing her up and everything else. And so I try to reach out to her. Is this, is this her mom? No. Okay. No. Okay, okay, okay. No, no, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. That's a dub. Got too many <laughs> baby mamas and sugar sugar mamas going on over here, man. <laughs> yeah, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> so what happened was is that, you know, my daughter was bringing her up and everything else. And I reached out to her saying, you know, thank you for, you know, even though we're not on the best of terms not treating my daughter a specific way mm. and you know everything else and i was like i'm starting to bug you and then she's like you know you're never a bug right and i'm like you know I've, i know how she is she's somebody that like once she's done with you she's done so this is years upon years of history of us still at least being friends got and it got so, it okay you know i was like <clears throat> you know whatever the case is we're discussing it and then for some reason we the past came back up and then you know I didn't know I did all the things, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like, cause it's like, oh shit. Like, I can't believe that. And then she hung up on me. That's mm. how hurt yeah. she, she was. Mm. And I was like, God damn, like you were a fucking asshole. And the fucked up part about this <laughs> is that when you're an asshole, you get more girls. Why is that? But sometimes what you're saying, sometimes you do things or you say things that you don't think are hurting people, but they are like they're yeah. everybody, you know, Everybody's sensitive, even people that are, that act like they're not. I feel like now yeah. more than ever, way a now lot of people, are yeah, more a lot of bitches. No, way I'll more. say that you bitches, <laughs> tighten up. <laughs> no, but <laughs> I know what you say, but no, it's 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 like you said before. Like yeah. from what I know, known when he to be, he's always been like a chill person, like really like like nice mannered, well, like you know, like great manners, very nice. Like you never really go out of your way to hurt. Like not that I know you like that, but I do know you from so so long. Yeah. But sometimes even when you do that, sometimes, I mean, even me now, I, I'm probably sometimes I say things and you hurt people not thinking that you're, you're joking or you're yeah. saying something yeah. or yeah. not just a, an ex-girlfriend or your ex-wife or your, or your, you know, a lady friend or your, your friends. You know, it could be your son or it could be you, each yeah. other. Like sometimes you might say something to him and he doesn't, you don't think it's hurting yeah, you. Yeah, exactly. yeah. And yeah. like, you know what happens a lot in text? Oh yeah, text. Text, yeah. text, text is gets very so misconstrued. Text so sometimes many you times, text man. and you start like, I don't really read uh, when people when you had a conversation and you start talking through text through a lot. I have no I, and I see like big text. I'm yeah, like, whoa, capital letters. <laughs> I know the fuck you ain't put no capital no, letters. No, no, no. Huh? Especially but, when it's the capital letters. When it's the capitals, you already know like, yeah. oh shit. And man. I the funny thing is that growing up, I only when I went to school, I only wrote everything in caps. I never, I don't even know how to write. Oh, so they I know it takes. So I always and people used to make fun of me even when I started working or or like you know just people that I knew would just tell me no listen you um you know why why are you yelling or yeah, what? Yeah, I used yeah. to send emails like that I'm like yeah. 
<laughs> and then you know what? If you're like a doctor, you could get away with it. Like doctor. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Or like somebody like an architect, but you can't just like, you know. Exactly, you, exactly. But yeah. going back to that point, there might have been something that you, you, you said to her that yeah. hurt her feelings when you didn't think of anything of it. And No, I mean, she reiterated it. And then I look back now and I'm like, I can't believe I said this to another person. Yeah. And it was it was very, very, very like bold. Yeah, like really had to check yourself. Like, oh wow, I'm, that yeah. was really that. Like that it was the line. It was. Oh, like I, it I was, stepped over a little bit, mm-hmm. not, not thinking that not you would say bit. that, but yeah, it was it was legit. Like, oh, yeah. you're the fucking asshole, yeah. you know. Like, and you know, I I the reason why this topic is so important to me because you know you ever watch Dave Chappelle. Yeah, of course. His Chappelle show. Yeah, he's awesome. Yeah, it made me think of of um, the skit where he did where keeping it real goes wrong. I don't, I don't remember that. I, I remember, but not. All right, so just bring it up. Man. Basically, so like one of the scenes is like he's in a corporate office and he just signs like this million dollar deal, and he's like, "That's my boy," and then he goes, "At this moment, you know, he could." Ignore the thing, or he can keep it real. Yeah. So, and then he goes, "Boy, what the fuck? Like that's some fucking boy did it? Like it's so, it's, yeah. it's so immature. I got you. I got you. Yeah. <laughs> it's so immature. Yeah. That he ends up losing this multi million dollar thing, and at the end, he ends up being um somebody that's like cleaning cars on the corner. Like <laughs> that's crazy, bro. <laughs> yeah. You know, you can get hurt when when you just say things and you don't realize what you're saying. But yeah. it happens to everybody. I mean, it's it's hard. We're all human. And yeah. we make mistakes. It's how you fix it. Sometimes, like, I'll say something to somebody or something happened. And then if, if you keep going through your day, but then you think about it every once in a while, you go to sleep, you think about it, you wake up and you think about it, like, that means it's bothering you. Yeah. And you feel, oh, like, yeah, wrong absolutely. about it. Mm-hmm. And you feel like, you know, you oh, yeah. you have, and you, you, you know deep inside. Oh, hell yeah. You can't fake yourself out. Yeah. Not at all. You know, like, you know, it's like, ah, oh, maybe I messed up. Yeah. You know? And sometimes you, you, you know. Sometimes you don't have the, the like the balls or like the you know like the maturity, the maturity to say you know what look I messed up I shouldn't have done that, and you know sometimes yeah it's happened on, it's happened to me and then but yeah. you'll do it like even having this podcast will make us better about it. Oh no, absolutely. we'll think about it. You know yeah. like if you ever say Maybe something, yeah. it'll just make you think about it better. It's yeah. crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, whoever's tuning in, everybody who's tuning in, appreciate y'all always. Hey guys, um, what's up? Here with Gio, you know Sam. GQ Win, we here in the building. We we're talking about immaturity. GQ if anybody Sam, has GQ questions, win. we love to like interact with everybody, whoever's tuning in, ask questions about immaturity, whatever y'all have, even experiences. Oh. Y'all already know we are here. So yeah. So speaking about immaturity now. Oh yeah, Kelly G said, put yourself in the other person's shoes and see if they would like if they have wanted to you know, to be treated like that in that way. Like, yeah, yeah. Which is true. It's true. Like you have to think about, like, you know, sometimes even when when you kid around, right? Like sometimes yeah. you have, like, you know, you. S- it, it's different when when you know people. Like if you're friends for years and stuff, and they know there's always like a friend that says like crazy things or says jokes and mm-hmm. things like that. Yeah. And you're kind of really good friends, then it, it's kind of okay. Yeah. Because you know the personality, but if that person jumps in, like a, a like say like we invited somebody new today, or you guys have this thing between each other. But I don't really know that, mm. and you're saying things to us, and I'm like, "Well, why is Winnie talking to me like that? Yeah. Why is he, it's like this guy's weird? This guy's not. Yeah. This guy's not cool." So that it's also like the situation and who you're doing it with. Exactly. Yeah. yeah you know, yeah, like yeah. say, like we were hanging out or out somewhere, and like you know how, or like say, like Breezy. Yeah. Breezy always does. So I like, and I used to. I, I'm. I do things like that too. But if you're around friends and people, sometimes you'll say like something, but they kind of know that that's how you are. Like, you don't really mean it like that. Uh-huh. But around all the people, outsiders might be like, whoa, that guy's yeah. kind of immature. You yeah. know, like. Have you, have you come across? <laughs> you know what I'm yeah, I know. But if you know, you know. Like, yeah, if you know, know this you know. person, then, okay, that's not really them. So but then he- here's a question you know. for you specifically, Gio. Have you rejected business or a potential client because you felt that, or or even hired somebody like you haven't hired somebody because you felt like they weren't mature enough to handle a specific task. Um. Yeah. Sometimes there, there's some there's some. But it's I guess immature is kind of you know it's kind of like um, it's a different word in business. It's more like 
they're not ready for the job yet. It's like, you know, not immature. It's not that they're immature. It's just they're not ready. It's like put in a point guard that never played with, like, KD and, like, you know, like James Harden. And he's like, yeah, go play with them right now. And, you know, it's like the fourth quarter. we got, And then he never played. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like – I I know what you're saying, but in business it's more like I guess if if you're mature, it's just more like a different word, like you know, not ready or like what is what is the word that I would say? Um, I guess not seasoned, not seasoned, and no, not enough experience. Yeah, okay. Because in business, it mature is like oh, this guy's so mature, I'm not doing the business, the deal with him. In business, it's more like you know, that's just not ready for us yet. So it's oh. pretty much more put to the side, even though. It might be a good business, but just the person itself. Even but you could be immature in business yeah. and not take a job because, like, a person said something weird to you or, like, you know, you got to just have thick skin so then let it go. Or, like, oh, I'm not going to do business with them any, no matter what. You yeah. know, like, you know, I don't like that person. Or you yeah. think about something personal that gets in business. Mm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, say, for example, like, the girl that, that you're talking about or whoever you're talking about, down the road happened where you guys could do business together. And then you didn't because you let the personal relationship come into it and one thing hurts the other. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's actually happened to me now that I'm thinking of it. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. wow, you might as well crazy. tell a story. A long time. <laughs> you might as well tell a story. No, a long time ago. Yeah, yeah. When, you know, I guess, you know, when, you know, when the mother and my son, yeah, like, you know, sometimes we, we, we had a chance to work together, but, you know, we didn't because of all the personal stuff, but... You know, it's also it's hard to work with people that you don't get along with. Yeah. Even you know, it could be the best deal, but it doesn't matter. Sometimes, you know, some people will put money over everything, mm-hmm. and in some, but some people can't. Some people just don't. You know, they don't want to deal with it. And sometimes, you know, the relationship is never going to change, or like, and that might be immature thinking. Oh, this is never going to change. If you grow, if we grow as humans as a, as people, maybe we should overcome like all those. Thoughts and like the, it's about the past. I think mm. if you let if you don't if you don't let go of the past, you can't move forward. You can't move. No, forward. Yeah. You know what I mean. Yeah, so yeah. maybe like if you hold all these grudges or like oh you know, forget that person. I can't believe never never in my life. Blah, blah, blah. So at some point that stays within you. Yeah, and mm-hmm. then you have to like kind of let it go. So like I I've gone through that and I gotten better. But yes, it's still like you know some things are still there. No, but I then mean, little by little time, it gets yeah. better. But I guess it shows the growth of a person. It's kind of like leaving immaturity back. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know. I, like, I didn't think I had anything in thinking about it yet. No, it's, it's, it's true, though. What about you, Wynn? Have you experienced anything where... G quitting. <laughs> GQ win. GQ win. <laughs> GQ win. Um, GQ win. Um, where you've either you've done something immature to somebody or they've done something where you felt like they handled it very immaturely and it might have maybe ruined a relationship or maybe a deal that you had in place or you know what I mean? Like I wouldn't say I wouldn't say deal, but I actually would talk about like my own experience itself. Uh just relationship wise, like, you know, I was you know, with a girl at a time when I was younger and shit. And it made me change who I am because like how you know, what she did to me, pretty much. Mm. So, long story short, <clears throat> like, I got cheated on and shit, but whatever. And then I tried to rekindle it and so on, but she was like, we, we kissed or whatever. We tried to, like, make it work. But then after that, just pretty much, I got led on to, like, pretty much, she was like, no, this is not going to happen. Like, I, we won't be together, whatever. So, it pretty much changed who I was, and I became, like, the biggest dog and saying... <laughs> and all this other stuff and mm. blah 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 when before i used to be that dude that was like very you know i would say oh not would not like a simp simp but like no i know i was like was romantic i was, was super romantic you, you know know singing the songs, you yeah was you know like yes. i would be that dude <laughs> that would go far beyond for a girl to make her feel good yeah. and then once that happened i was like the biggest dog i was like I'm not even trying to be this type of dude for any chick, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And, yeah, I definitely that was definitely, like, one of those moments where, like, that definitely changed who I was, and I was just like, damn, like. See, but that's I, that's being immature yeah, and then growing out of it. that's what I'm go. saying, you know? Then but now. Everybody goes through it. I'm not, I'm not like that anymore. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was definitely a situation I was definitely immature about, though. Do you feel that, because I know you're the oldest sibling, right? Yeah. So am I. 
What do you have any siblings? Here? Yeah, I have a uh, younger sister and a younger brother. Okay, so you're the oldest too. Yeah. Wow. We're all, so we're all. Yeah. So it's so a we definitely have an understanding. Yeah. So it's a different responsibility <clears throat> when you're and with me, my the age gaps between my soul. All right. Oh, I'm seven years from my, my younger brother. We're gonna get deep in this pause. Right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> on my dad's side, I'm the second to oldest, and my dad was, may he rest in peace. Was he was promiscu- mm. promiscuous. Right, so my mm, half okay. brother is a few months older than me. He's he's born in April. I'm born in September. Okay, right. Then my other siblings on my dad's side are all younger than me. They're all in Nigeria, right. And then on my mother's side, who I'm closer with because I grew up with them, mm-hmm. there there's a nine year gap, ten year gap, twenty year gap, twenty one year old gap, and. I think like a thirty-something-year-old guy. Damn. Yeah. Whoa. So what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> All right. They, 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 they keep funny. an active house. <laughs> the, the bed is always warm. <laughs> the, the bed is always warm. <laughs> the bed is always warm. <laughs> um, so <laughs> is that oh, is that a Haitian saying or a Jamaican no, that's, one? That's a Nigerian. That is that is a Nigerian accent. Oh, oh, sorry. So. <laughs> <laughs> I hear it now. <laughs> so, Yo, is that your background? Yes, I'm actually Haitian and Nigerian. Okay, um, but on my Haitian side, we have like my grand aunt married a Cuban, and they lived in DR. So I have Dominican cousins. That that's that's how I know. Yeah, my that's Spanish how you know Spanish. Yeah. That. But you know. My, my man sp- fluent in Spanish. Not yeah. really. Yeah. Not really. Stop playing, not really. Son. Not You're really. Lying. You're not lying. really. I could keep a conversation you where you grew up speaking Spanish. So what it was is that I lived in DR for a little bit, right? Uh, and then see this scar right here. You got hit with a baseball bat? No. <laughs> <laughs> that's like, so what I, I mean, was, yo, that's all they do is play right? baseball out there. No, baseball. I was like, maybe you got hit by. Ball. I was in DR because I had gotten sick, so my mom just sent me out there, and I was staying with my aunt Caridad, and. You know, when you're younger, you try to impress your other cousins. Like, yo, I could do this. Watch me do this. And you know what I mean? Like, you know, like there's a couch. And my aunt is like, stop jumping on the goddamn couch. <laughs> oh, oh, my no. God. I don't know where this is going. Did a backflip. <laughs> bust my whole mata. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and... Sh- yeah, so that since then that scars remind me to calm down. Yeah. So... <laughs> that was a big hit. Yeah, like... Let me see. Like... Yeah, you definitely... Wow. Uh, yeah. Damn, son. Yeah. So you just cracked it open. Cracked the whole thing open. Oof. Stitches so and all What that. did you do? You, I don't did you remember. Did you try to flip it? You didn't yeah, flip? I, did. I, I, I tried to flip, and I think I landed on the edge. Ooh, of the you're lucky. Oh, nah. Yeah, you so got, I could have yeah. died. Yeah, you could have died. Yeah, I could have died. One of those two. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Yeah. So I just remember seeing stars black, and then my aunt, like, obviously in a panic, like, what's going on with her nephew? And everything else like that. So, to go back to the main thing, yeah. right? Which what I mentioned about our siblings and us being older. Like, it's funny because like I, I had a, a conversation literally last night with my sister. Okay. About, you know, our sense of communication, and then I, and then, and then it brings back the maturity and immaturity of things, right? So. Me, my in my head now. I always brag about my sister. You know this, Winnie. She's somebody that has graduated high school at sixteen. Wow. Graduated at Delphi at nineteen. Got her master's at twenty three at um, San Diego, California. Wow. She's worked That's with awesome. Ellen DeGeneres. She's worked in movies with Terry Crews and Ludacris. Like she has an extensive resume. She traveled around the world. She's done a lot. She's somebody that just is ambitious and is just That's super awesome. go getter. Right. So I view her in a stronger light than I do the rest of my siblings. Of course. Yeah. Right. But last night it was we had to have a real talk because it was like, you know, I fe- she said, I feel as though that you don't really check in and with her. Yeah. And for me, it's like it reminded me of that same conversation I had with my ex about how sometimes some people feel like, yo, you're I'm bo- like. They're, I'm, I'm getting annoyed. Like yeah. they feel like when they're around me, I'm annoying them. Mm. You know what I mean? And it's like, damn, I didn't know I had that energy. Like, and and, and, it, and it's a sense of 
having that conversation with my sister last night. But you feel like you annoy your sister? No, 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 no. They feel, not my sister, but like friends, it could be guys, females. Yeah. They feel like I give off an energy that like they are annoying me. Oh, so like, say, yeah, 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 yeah. You feel like, damn, son, Sam, I'm annoying Sam. Let me just leave Sam alone. And I'm like, really? Yeah. What? You, crazy, right? Because me, you know me, jokes all day. Yeah. That's my energy yeah. is jokes all day, but it's a sense of understanding now. And to go back to my sister, because even though she's so strong in my opinion, at the end of the day, she's still a human being. She's still my baby sister. Yeah. She still needs her big brother yeah. and everything else. And that's where... Sep- you got to separate. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Mind yeah. you, yeah. when we were growing up, it was terrorism. Like, I was the big brother that... Nah, because du- I was a WWF fan. So, <laughs> all of... <laughs> yeah, throwing her, you know, bro. Super body slams, Yo, everything like that. Couch, you know what I mean? Like, it was not sick. Like, oh, yeah, choke slam. Yeah. Like, it, was, it was bad, you know, but... <laughs> you know, choke and it's slam. funny. He's wild. How, He's you wild. know, choke slam. You know, to go back on that m- immature phase of my life, and to see the maturity now, to say like, look at our bond between us. Look at yeah, you know how like even when I matter of fact, I'm going to the Super Bowl. Oh, Shout out are? to Party Hardy and um uh Hyper Project Howie. event. Party Hardy. Yeah. You guys are all going? So, no. Nah, just him. Just me. Oh, that's but, cool. So it's, but he's, he's setting it up, though. Yeah, yeah, where we, yeah. Where everybody else can start yeah, yeah, going, yeah. though. Yeah, we all going to eat. Yeah. We all going to eat. We all that's good. You're setting it up? So, what it is is that this is a company called Hyper Project Agency. They okay. They deal with a lot of... Yeah, you uh, can talk about that, don't huh? You can talk about that, right? Yeah, yeah. I can talk oh, about right, that. Cool. I don't know. Yeah, I can talk about that. Yeah, right. Don't get in trouble. <laughs> nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. They deal with a lot of... Uh, um, well, what kind of company agency. is it? They just—they're an agency. Guys, so this is an agency. All right, yeah. that's cool. So they deal with other outside sources, like if um, World Cups and all this. Other Got it. Yeah, they big, deal, they big deal with events. big yeah. events like that. Yeah, they're huge. Got so, it. So um, what happened was how we got in touch with somebody that needed somebody. I happened to fit the mold. I did a few events for them. They loved my work ethic. That's awesome. And then they were like, "Look." You know, this gig is up for anybody else, but we loved how you handled it and how you, you know, did this. That's nice. That, you know, they, um, awesome. you know, sent your boy to the to Super Bowl. Get, you know what I mean? But we're going to do what we're going to do when yeah. we get out there. You heard? <laughs> you heard? <laughs> so I'm bringing my daughter. <laughs> this guy's funny. <laughs> it's like you talk normal and all of a sudden you go into like like a crazy comedian or like oh, Dave yeah, Chappelle that's mode. It. That's, that's, what you do. that's how we are, man. You it's know funny. Why, like that. It's I'm going to tell you why. We had our first, um, our second podcast when we was talking about insecurities. Mm-hmm. So the reason why I'm this way is because I used to get bullied when I was younger. Yeah. So you get two ways. You I either fight too. or you become a clown. Yeah. I did both. But more the clown than fighting because fighting isn't fun. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, not, not everybody trying to always like, fight Yeah, somebody. like yeah. that's corny to me. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. I can defend myself. But if I can crack a joke with you and everybody relax, I'm cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, so that's why I'm like all over the place jokes. You know, That's good. No, that's good. Insertion. That's your personality. It's cool. Keeps you up. Good energy, you feel uh, me? My boy Kevin here, he said another one, DJ Khaled voice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I saw that. <laughs> it's funny because last week we were talking about, like, you know, we were supposed to do it last week. And then yeah. you're like, oh, let's write, you know. And I started thinking about, like, what to, to um, I, was, I wasn't I was feeling well. And I was like, oh, and, you know, you talked about let's have a show about immaturity. That was, like, a week ago. Yeah. And then I started writing things down of what to, to talk about. And then, yeah, I just kept going back to, like, oh, let me move up here, see? Acting like immature. Nah, you're good, man. You're good. <laughs> like, who is this kid? Like, you're good, you're good, you're good. Like, in school. Oh, man. But the, the main thing that, that I think about is, yeah, like, just sometimes you just say things to people or it's just you do – things that you do that you think are funny for you are not funny for the people and it hurts them. That's yeah. what mm. – or, like, you might say something and they're like, but that's how I am, though. That's how I am. So that – it's a – you know. So even – I guess, yeah, even to this day sometimes – I'm immature, and I don't know, maybe you guys are too, I don't know, but I think sometimes I am, but then you, but what I've gotten better at is just trying to go back and, and make, you know, apologizing, or, and or really yeah. thinking about it, and not just like letting it go. Yeah, I got you. I think that's more important, because things are going to happen regardless. Sometimes it might not be, you might say something that doesn't mean you're immature, but you're still hurting somebody, yeah. so if you're not being immature by doing that action, but it hurts someone, so that if you don't say sorry that's immature but if you mm. go back and say listen i didn't mean to say that you weren't trying to 
you know, like I guess that's another yeah. part of being immature. You yeah. know what I mean? Gotcha, gotcha. So just to like, I guess, it just comes down to apologizing and just being like more human and and like look at the way we live now. Our, our society now is so much better than it was maybe when you know my parents and your parents. Like if you think about it, yes, yeah. Like back then, in the beginning, yeah, we were. Remember we said that in the beginning, like oh, you know, there used to be all this, you know, itches, whatever. Yeah, but it's 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 true, but it, it's be it's better now. Yeah, because well, at least now. we could talk about so many more things that yeah. years ago people would be like everybody. And that everybody look at you crazy even talking about whatever it is you want to yeah. talk about. Yeah. So speaking of that, right? Have you guys seen the Dave Chappelle special? With the latest one? Yeah, the last yeah, one he did. With the LGBTQ yeah. incident? Yeah. No, I haven't seen it. Yeah, it's really <laughs> funny. And I think <laughs> it's still funny. No, I haven't no seen offense, it. No offense, but still, it's funny. people are very sensitive. How, is it, how, how new is it? It's um like a couple months. A couple months. Okay. Is it on Netflix? Or yeah, yeah okay. definitely. I, on I saw it, but then I thought it was the older one. <laughs> no, no, no. It's, it's, I mean, it's, comedy is hard because comedy, you're always going to hurt somebody. Yeah. Like because even if if you're coming up with a joke, a lot of jokes are funny because it's it's like real feelings that people feel. Yeah. And the reason why they find it funny is like, yeah, that happened to me. That's what happens. So you laugh. Yeah. But all those co comedies hard because like being a real comedian and being super real to yourself and just talking about whatever you want yeah. is gonna hurt a lot of people. Yeah. And it's gonna it's gonna. But if if you know you're going to a stand up though, right? And you you know. Yes. They gonna just talk about jokes or whatever. The case Correct. Is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why is it for the fact that comedians only could speak one way but can't speak this way and still make a joke about it? Even though these jokes have been talked about for years and years. You already Everything's know. Everything's been talked about. But it's like now when you talk about these other topics now, it's like you got to pay the price. You got to yeah. tiptoe around these different topics and stuff you like know, that. Crazy. Crazy. Yeah. You, I'm sorry to cut no, you off, Gio. Okay. In his, the, I don't know if it was that. No, it was like two stand-ups ago. Dave Chappelle says something that really kind of like was like an ah moment, mm. right? So he was talking about how when he, you know, he was speaking with the networks and everything else about, um, I don't know if it was a show or a stand-up or whatever the case is, and they were saying, you know, you can't use um, the word, Faggot, you know what I mean? Because you don't want to. I'm sorry to laugh because I haven't <laughs> said that word in forever. Just how crazy. It's a, it's a, it's a word that everybody. It's a word using, I haven't bro. said in forever, bro. But see, we see, we don't. That's we use, immature, right there. No, no, no. But you're saying it. I, I mean, like, yeah, yeah. We, you know, when you were younger, you would do it. But like now, like, oh, yeah, you don't. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's just like we. It's, it's yeah. one way to use it. Yeah, right you don't now. use yeah, it no more. You no. know, like it's off color. It's, so it's, it's not. You know, because you know now. Yeah. Yeah, it's very so, sensitive. You're yeah. going to hurt somebody. <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah. Yeah. So what he said was, <laughs> you know, they said, okay, you can't say this word because it's going to offend a certain group of people. Da 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 da, da. He said, because I mean, you're not gay. Right? And he was like, that's cool. He's like, he's like, he's like, he's walking out the office. And he's like, ah. He said, why is it? And I can't say that word, but I can say the N word without any immunity. He says, I'm not a nigga. And you know, it was like a, oh shit. You know, an ill dope moment and everything else like that. It yeah. just made me think of that based off like, you it's know, the just, climate that we're though. in, Ryan. Yeah, like, man. Like, know? it's it's crazy because it's really sad that you really can't even joke about these things even though you don't really truly mean it but it's just like like why does it still have to be tiptoed around and like i mean just face it it is what it is but i think yeah. at the end of the day we still should enjoy about okay yeah i've experienced that like yeah i've been around that or whatever case it be but it's not like you know hurting rising anybody or you know, like hurting them in a way but it's just like people just are too too sensitive and i think that's just the immature about th thing about that because now, like people can't really talk about those things, or else you're just gonna get in trouble or something like that. I, I think, I think also is, I think it's just we have to. Yeah, my bad. Hold on. Somebody said I think people just don't like hearing the truth about situations, so they pull the hate card. Mm. Mm. That's actually, that's true. And that was Ooh. deep. Yeah. I wish I could like that yeah, comment yeah, right yeah. now. <laughs> I, see you, I see you cozy. That's what's up. That's that was a, deep as hell. Like, fact, can I have a like on this yeah, shit? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's hold true. On, hold on, hold on. 
That was good right there. That was yeah, good. So that was deep. what I what I would say, what I was gonna say, let me see if I could just re- now I know I I understand what people are saying. For example, like I'm on the other side, like what you just said, like sometimes, oh yes, people are so sensitive, you can't do this, you can't do that. Mm-hmm. But if you don't at some point draw a line, you have to like so I think it's okay as long as we we show like the new generation, like, all right. That that word is bad or this word is bad. You know, sometimes people use it, but it, teach people how it's not a, it's not the right thing to say, mm-hmm. and it's it's a wrong thing. You know, a wrong thing yeah. to call somebody. Yeah. But then, so the, you know, so I I don't know how to explain myself. I'm just trying to say that what what you were saying going back to yeah some yeah. things that was you know I think is too much overboard. Like oh you can't do this yeah, you yeah, can't do that you yeah. can't say this you can't yeah. say that. But if that doesn't happen. Then change doesn't happen. That's so true. it has to exactly. change. something yeah. has to happen. Something yeah. drastic has to happen, like on TV and things like that. Like what's up? No, nah, my boy. I, I'm just saluting my boy. Oh, <laughs> so you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yeah, nah, I totally if we understand. could just keep going like that for like decades and years yeah, and has years to have and years, change. has to have change. Starts something, change. something. You know, nothing's gonna change without something. Yeah. So like the fact that at least now we're more like sensitive about like the you know like gay people or like you know you know middle eastern people black people like all the other races and even even white people to an extent is like a backwards racism you know yeah, what i mean yeah, yeah. some people feel left out but then it's like at least we're doing something not just yeah, letting it go yeah, and I got you, you know at least you know, everything it's, that it's you said, important it's very important because everything's there we knew all the things that that w- that happened before were there with what people say what people say to each other but now at least it's more in the open, and now at least it's like, all right, you can't really say it so out on on TV or yeah. or shows yeah, yeah. because they the the way the sponsors look at it is like they want to appeal to everybody. They want the new generation, all mm-hmm. the new kids, yeah. to not to let, let leave all those thoughts behind. You know what I'm saying? Like like to me, like for example, racism in in, in like neighborhoods or family, it just comes because they just keep teaching the kids the same thing. Oh. Because I experienced it when I was younger. I experienced racism when I grew up. When I when I grew up in Ozone Park and I grew up around all these Italian families and all, which they were awesome and all this Irish people. And I grew up with black people and Jamaicans and like I was the most mixed kid ever because I did everything. And then it just ha- to me is ha- it's like if I teach my kid bad things about like he's gonna grow up with the same mentality yeah oh this is that yeah so, this is that yeah you know like that's you. that or like you. if you in the family that for example somebody's gay and you're like you can't come out and oh my god you're gay oh if the if the if, if it keeps going like that it's never gonna stop it's like a change. yeah i feel though like, it's like a chain you have to make a change something drastic has to happen yeah. and then at least something's happening so like we, you know, it's maybe not for us because we're not we're not racist and we, we you know, we, we have gay friends, black friends, so yeah. we're cool. But there are people that are not or people that are on the fence. There are yeah. people yeah. Yeah. that are, but, but the reason why it's important to go on TV and not letting all these people say all this stuff, it's important for all the young people coming up so they don't see it and think it's okay to do it. That's mm-hmm. true. You that's understand? True. So yeah. I, that's I, what's important. I agree okay, with that. You. I agree with that. And But I, I have a few, a few like contradictions not contradictions but like so yeah, different points different points of view because yeah. so the thing is i i do co- concurrently agree that we should set the precedent for children i i am in accordance with that 110 percent. my thing is though is that people are insecure right people are insecure and what they do is they display their insecurities on other people and Mm. that's where the immaturity comes from Mm -hmm. so what i mean by that is for example we could be whatever the place is right let's say i feel a certain type of way about something i'm feeling down about whatever and i see forgive me for this i see a 400 pound person over there I'd be like, God damn, at least I ain't that fat motherfucker. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like, yo, 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 it's, it, I'm yeah. just giving an example because that's what people do. You're you right. know, people are very You're insecure. Right. They, they, they can't accept themselves for who they are, so they have to display their insecurities on other people. Mm. And, you know what I mean? And, mm-hmm. and, and that's where me realizing my immaturity came from, from, you know, like, you know, I always have to have the baddest looking chick because I don't think I'm the good looking guy. So if my validation was if she bad and I bagged her, I'm that dude. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Whereas that shouldn't matter. It shouldn't the, matter. Yeah, you exactly. Know what I mean? Like yeah. it shouldn't matter at all, yeah. but that's my insecurity. So 
okay, shorty, what's going on? You gaining weight. Why are we not in the gym? Da, da, da. Mm-hmm. Yo, you eating a little bit too much. That's what <coughs> guys tend to do because they're insecure about themselves. Yeah. So now that because this person they're with, either they, you know, whatever, they're not meeting that specific standard that's going to make them look good. It's what it is right now, too. Sorry to cut you off. It's all yeah. about social approval. Mm-hmm. Social approval. I think that's what it is today about the immaturity, whereas people are always going to agree with what people say instead of, like, agreeing with what themselves and what they believe in, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So all this social approval and stuff like that has construed so many people's mind where, like, now, you know, and today you got to have the bad girl. You know, you got yeah. you got you got to look good. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can't have flaws in your face. You know she what I'm saying? Get a, she got to get she got to get the she got to get the booty lift, you know what I'm yeah. saying? She got to she got to <laughs> go to Columbia got ass done. You know what I'm saying? Got to got to get the bananas, you I know what I'm feel, saying? Yeah. I feel All like that, I'm in a comedy show right now. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just like a battle. <laughs> you know, when he hits his and I'm like this is hilarious. No, nah, but yo, it's See, so See like I would true, say something like I if I said something like I feel like I'm in a comedy show with a battle of two black comedians. But then I was like do I say black comedians? <laughs> but, but we know yeah. that we no, know. But, but you know yeah, what I mean? You, yeah, because yeah. you know what though, you grew up in the culture. Yeah, like, yeah. You grew up in South Ozone. You know, what I mean, like you understand it. You, it's one thing though where it's a culture appropriation. That's what I don't like. That's when it's like you lived in West Bumble, rich Long Island. You've never had a black friend in your life, and then now you see either me or Winnie, or you see. Yo, Kalo K me, Henshin. You know what I mean? It's like, yo. That's a fact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, yo, bro, yeah. you, you, you not yeah. about that life. Yeah. You, you've never been there. Like, no, you can't have a chopped cheese. Stop, like, Ooh, you know, my like. Fault, my fault. No, nah, we, got, we got a couple yeah. statements. One said, can't say Somebody retard. Somebody said, who sets the standards for beauty, though? Did you say retard? No, no, you can't say it. Somebody said, you can't say retard. Oh, no, no. And, yeah, uh, no. and uh, my boy, boy, No, Fresh. but, but see, this, the, oh, okay. those are things that you have to, like, you know. But for example, like just to, to go to touch that, to touch base on that topic, like now, like when I grew up in Queens, right? I grew up like near like Liberty Avenue, which was, you know, a few blocks away from Rockaway. Rockaway is like a notorious, like hard black neighborhood. Yeah. I know. That's where right? I grew up at. You heard? Then Far Rock was good. Da- man. Yo, down by heard? like Leopard's yeah. Boulevard. <laughs> Leopard's Boulevard. And down is a lot of like Middle Eastern and Indian people. Okay. Yeah. Then. On, on like on, kind of like a little closer to Jamaica, there was a lot of like Puerto Ricans. And when I grew up, there was a lot of mostly Puerto Ricans and and um, some Dominicans, but it was a lot of Puerto Ricans. And then you started mixing all those people from South America here and there. And then if we went north a little more, then it was like Italians and Irish. So it was like that. And it, but it was like very racially divided. The good thing is like now we have neighborhoods like if you go to Williamsburg, it's the same thing. You mm-hmm. go to Williamsburg and there's like, you know, it's a neighborhood all mixed. But the energy is different. Mm-hmm. Like, it's like a modern America. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, there's like, my son goes to school in Williamsburg. So people are like, oh, my God, Williamsburg. He goes to school there. But we also know that Williamsburg is like jumping. Yeah, and all the. Me? But if you go, like, now that I go through the, through the neighborhood all the time, yes, the neighborhood is very mixed. Very. Like, his school is like, you know, there's black kids, there's Indian kids, white kids. But it's like a different feeling. Yeah, it's not like you feel the tension mm-hmm. or like yeah, exactly. that you go to some neighborhoods and you know it's like you, know. it's, you exactly. feel it. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that shows that we are getting like there are neighborhoods like that now. That it's it's cool. It's like it's like that's how we, sh- we should be because the longer it goes, the the more mixed that America and the world becomes, especially America, because yeah. we have so like the longer time. It's like it's like having the way I see it. It's like having milk, right? Mm. And then this is America, right? I'm gonna get a little crazy. <laughs> so like milk is like a like to me like America was like a cup of milk, okay. and then you sprinkle in like you know like but the Indians were here first or whatever, and then they like but still mix it, but still like ninety percent, ninety eight percent. Then you know like black people come in, and then yeah. you know Middle Eastern people some come caramel, in. So now you got some chocolate. As, <laughs> as you go, the, as years pass, every every stir, every like spin that you do on the milk with all the things, it's just mm. becoming a little darker. Yeah. And, dar- and that is what's happening to America. Yeah, you're yeah. right. And like, Absolutely. that is exactly what's happening. Yeah. Like, you know, people have, you know, black people have kids with, you know, Asian Asians and black yeah. and white and, you know, middle. So, like, it's not it's not going back. And, and you could never undo that. You could yeah. never be like, all right, let me undo that and turn it back to milk. It's never going to happen. No, yeah. never. It's just going to keep be- become darker more and, and more darker and more darker, mixed. Yeah. No matter and what, mixed, even yeah. if, like I said, if I if I was like 
oh, my son, oh, you know what? Listen, you cannot date Asian people. You can't date, you know, Middle Eastern or black. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, he's going to do what he wants. Yeah. And our society is going that way. Not yeah. everybody. But eventually, it's like, it, it's like you can't stop it. Yeah. It's like a tsunami. Like, you know it's coming. And, like, then people try to stop it, but you can't. Yeah, you can't. It, it, you, we, we're meant to do that. The world so, eventually so is going to be yeah. more mixed and more mixed. And some people are going to stick to their races and stuff. But eventually... Somebody in the family is going to mix with somebody oh, yeah. else. Somebody's going to be that it, black it, sheep. It just happens. Yeah. It, That's yeah, why happens. you see the neighborhoods. So, like, you know, hopefully we become to we come to this place, like, something like Williamsburg, but even better, where all races Everybody, are in the neighborhood. Yeah. It's like a cool name. Obviously, nothing's going to be perfect. It's always going to be good and of bad. Course. But I think, I think like that. I just think eventually it's just more mixed and more mixed and so more mixed. Here's the question. I don't know. It's simple to me, but maybe it's not. But. It's not simple, but nah, nah, it's nah. going to take time. It's, that's that's, that's, that's gonna my take immature time. thought of the mix. <laughs> 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 what is he saying? <laughs> that's immature. Nah. So, Comparing America to milk. So, uh, it's like, an now, analogy, but it's a good analogy, though, yeah. if you really think about it, though. Now we're like light-skinned chocolate milk. Where now, <laughs> we're, we're at the light-skinned chocolate milk, like where you probably put one little powder, you know, yeah. in the mix. I mean, but there's a lot of black people that you can't tell are white. I mean that you can't. What? Tell I was like, black. what? <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. That they look white. They look white, but they're actually black. There's a lot of them. Well, mix wise, you mean? Yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mix, 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 yeah. mix. You know yeah, what yeah. I mean? It, that, so it, it hasn't. But um, the question, like Breezy, if you see Breezy dancing, like this guy's black. <laughs> no. yeah, work, work, <laughs> low key. <laughs> but Breezy, Breezy, right, what's up? He's, 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 he's got. He's got. Better, he's, he's, got better. He's, he's got way better. He's, he's like a player now. now. He's, he's actually to yeah. the beat now. It was yeah, uh, Carlton okay. he, from Will Smith nah. with it. Wait, so oh, I'm talking about off beat, off beat, oh. <laughs> off beat to the off. Beat. Yeah, but oh, now man. he has moves. I've okay, been out okay, with him, but okay. we don't go out as much. But he has moves now. I can't. I can't. I can't lie. Yeah, yeah he's man. better than me now. All right. Stop so the question was. Yeah, I'm not that good anymore. The question is, who sets the standard for beauty, though? That's from a boy fresh. I think. I mean. Good when you answer that first. Uh, yeah, like I said, um, fuck. Now that I think about it, I, mean, I think beauty is like an old saying, but it's in the eye of the beholder. Sometimes you're like, I can't believe my friend is with that girl. Or like, what does she see in him? But it doesn't matter what you think. If she finds some attraction, like beauty is, everybody sees beauty in different angles. Yeah. To me, like, you know, I take pictures and sometimes my the, 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 the setup is not that great. But if I find the right angle, it's like, wow, it looks really good from mm -hmm. here. You know, mm -hmm. so then you take. So yeah. it's just, it's the way your perception or like, what do you, what do you, you know, what do you think is what's beautiful to you? You know, some people like this, some people like that. So like, I guess it's just in the eye of each yeah. person has a different perception perception of beauty. It's so funny. Um, so what Spanish. about you, Sam? Sorry. Kelly, well, for <laughs> me, well, before I answer Kelly. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, 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 yeah, Kelly said immaturity is comparing yourself to other people. To another person, rather than seeing your strengths and accepting that. Yeah, she also said, um, the Kardashians have set the standard for women. Um, oh no, you don't think it started with them? No, it's been like that forever. It's just with different. Really? It just it, it just changed the shape. But before, you used to see like Farrah Fawcett, and you used to see like I don't know, um, like we like I used to watch Say by the Bell. We used to like this girl. Like every generation has different people that that they look at. To me, they're the most like the, the ones for this generation. At least the last ten, fifteen years. Be, at least that that whole end of it, right? Mm. Before that, it used to be like more like tall, skinny, you know, blonde yeah. girls or. It just changed. These white girls in the gym getting cake. Yo. I can't hold it. Because, guys. yo, they're yo, they they, they, they they doing the work. They're doing the, the work. Because <laughs> 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 they're doing the work. Because <laughs> they're doing the work. Okay. But, I but think, okay, when you, okay, when you okay, when you think about it, though, right? I know we're going way off topic. But it's also the clothing. Like, bef it's listen, you think they changed. It didn't change. It's just the way that we, like clothing evolved the way that things grab to your body the way that people dress the way that now they're more conscious on how to pose or like even guys like because we see it all the time so you get better at it even mm. somebody that's not a professional photographer you take you know 237 selfies of yourself and then like you get better at it you learn the so everything is every like, pose yeah. yeah you know what i'm saying it's like because yeah. i used to say oh my god girls didn't look like that when i was young or guys didn't yeah. look guys wearing this that big but it's also like before, like if you see like the, you know, like I don't know, like the sixties or what, the clothing was different, so mm -hmm. you never saw 
like yeah. certain things yeah. in society, like the commercials and everything. So now it's like, yeah, but now as you see, like, you know, like all the like, like you said, like the Kardashians or whatever. Yeah. But also, you see like all those. New new um, clothing lines with like you know for like a big bigger women yeah. that are you yeah. know and, that's and, and they're yeah. still they're yeah. still sexy and yeah. beautiful yeah. Yeah. and some of them are you know yeah. but that's okay exactly. Exactly. everybody's different somebody it's like you know we all have different genes and some some people are just bigger than others no matter what they do unless you go get what is out of control is the the the, the all surgery. the all the surgeries that yeah all, exactly that they is, got but, the ant back but it, <laughs> <laughs> but it's <laughs> but even yeah, but it, but that's how society moves. It's just like you can't stop it. So to go back to the the Kim Kardashian thing, I personally feel though that they made it cool for other ethnicities to date black men. I really feel that way because mm. even with yeah, I'm gonna just put it out there. So when <laughs> so so when so when what you would call? Remember I told you I had went to Howie's office and. You know, his daughter said, you know, she... Oh, yeah, why are you, why are you I'm, putting I'm gonna it out it up because it's funny. Why, why? It's funny because it's funny as hell. <laughs> it's funny this as guy. Hell. It's funny why? as hell. They're going to cancel the show. As hell. <laughs> it's funny as hell. Cancel! Right? <laughs> He's about to be right? canceled! So, even when she said that, but when she mentioned the specific guy that she wanted, mm. it was a Devin Booker type. Who is Devin Booker dating? Kylie Jenner. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I feel like I feel like they... Even what what's the mom is dating some black guy right now. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like they made it cool to be like dating a black guy. Like, we're the new item to go get at Target. That's how I really feel the Kardashians <laughs> have made it. You really? feel like the Kardashians made it that way. All jokes aside, because you haven't seen interracial dating was kind of shunned upon, to be very honest, for the longest. A very long time. Yeah. You know what I mean? Now it's, it's it was out there, but no, not really but it, out it was it, out there, but it wasn't like it was on some. You feel like it's more acceptable now. Yeah, like because you we see bring it more. Home. But it's been like that for more for years. I mean, if you think about it, like, but it wasn't. You could always. You know why? Because it's on TV. Because like I don't. I never really watched the show. Me. I. I don't know. I don't know. But I. I know it was like one of the most successful shows or whatever. But like I know. Like just you. People see. People do. And then yeah. sometimes you do have the thoughts. Like you said, if you are, yeah. uh, like if you're not black and you find a, a black man attractive, then you're like, no, it's not right. But then when you see it on TV. That's what you're trying to say. It's like, mm. oh, it's okay. Yeah. I could do that, you know? Uh, but that's what it? I feel like. See, social acceptance. Correct. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's so that's, what what, that's exactly what he's there. saying. Oh, they doing it? Yeah, okay, so now so it's okay. For I, me to, okay, okay. See yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. But that comes to what I was just telling you about yeah. the mixing of America. See, like how in the two cultures and everything. But else. he feels that they are the ones that pretty much the started door. the trend where, yeah. oh, we're doing this on TV, then... Oh shit! I know there's other girls that's gonna look up to me. That you know, oh, oh they're I, gonna probably do the same thing or try yeah, to like you know. Listen to me. It was already happening. That's what but I'm saying. It's they, been out it, there. It, it, because they just happen to be on TV yeah. and, and do that. Exactly. You know what I mean? That's, once it's on TV, you know everybody's gonna follow their people, celebrity yeah, or whatever. And that's just know, what it is. Mm, yo, so all right, like the, we know we're on Instagram now. She probably has like two hundred or three hundred thousand, three hundred million followers. Yeah. Of and course. this is where everybody lives, so people follow. Oh, what Cody said. Once do stop being thirsty for fake bodies. Things will be better. Social legit brainwash people. With the body image thing, I I love natural. I don't like the fake stuff. I love I've been natural. always into like natural, but to this day I like natural. But 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 what? But if you can get some surgery to fix some flaws, I'm I'm with it. And it don't gotta be crazy. If you can make it, this is what I'm saying, right? Let's say, all right. Let's say for example, this is a paper, right? And it, it is a paper. This. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say this right. is the paper. I'm just showing you, for example, uh, right? this is this is a paper. We know all nice shaped papers look like this, right? And let's say you got this little piece right here, yeah. And then the surgery can make it go back. I'm for that. I don't like when you take the paper and now you got the <laughs> you got the other piece of the paper and then you got the you got the pen on top. It's like yo, come on! I just want it to look like a regular yeah, piece. like. It, it still look normal, but not like exactly. too much Wait, going nobody on. Nobody could tell like you got yeah, surgery. like you literally like look like a chicken, and then now you got <laughs> the mumps on the back of your ass type shit. Literally, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Like I'm you ain't got chicken legs. Show. <laughs> <laughs> it was about immaturity. It's going off topic. I know it is going off topic. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. Off topic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool, 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 cool. Um, so. Plastic surgeries through the See, roof like, now shit. we sound immature talking about all yeah. these things. No, we're not really making fun of it. We're actually having, like, the conversation, yeah, no, no, so it's cool. Deaf. That's why we're here. Um, so, what is it? Um, Kelly said, what happened to being healthy and being fit? Um, and then, you know, Boy Fresh said, Kim put black men in high demand. That's a fact. And Kelly, I'm sorry, I didn't know. Yeah. Devin Booker is dating Kendall Jenner. I don't oh, know. Oh, the gen- difference. Kendall is the natural one. Like, the, she's the like the model, one. model yeah, one. Yeah, the tall yeah. one. And, and then Cozy, Cozy said, See, the fact no children is born with hate in heart. Yeah. Like, kids are not born with hate. It starts no. at home. Correct. It starts at home. It starts so somewhere. That, that's, because that's, not. that's where it all stems from. I believe if, if, if the parents are not starting at home and I actually, like, Telling the kids that okay, Damn. you don't have to worry about the different color. You don't even worry about color of whoever you're talking to. Yeah, you know everybody's one at the end of the day. So I think it definitely know. stems from like the parents being immature about that part, where you know everybody should just be one at the end of the day. Yeah, <sighs> but it comes down to that. It comes down to like so to go back to the topic immaturity. I think even immaturity in society and now immaturity in like it just comes to like teaching your kids, I guess, to like not be so immature. Yeah. It's teaching them also to not I don't know. I'm just like rambling no, now. I, but and I think you know I, <laughs> I, I was so trying to say something but I can't really No, you you had the right thing. It's it's with the parents. I believe it's also in schools. Like the reason why I don't speak Spanish as fluent as I used to is because of a teacher. You know what I mean? When I was younger, I told you I was living in DR. I mm-hmm. came but you back. don't you don't speak it because you don't practice it. No, I came back because so cuando te la escuela, la profesora DSA they said solo mono que habla español. You know uh, what I'm saying? What's going on right now? Only right. white people is no, Spanish? no, no. Oh, mono. Like a monkey. Like a monkey speaks Spanish. Only, only monkey speaks Spanish. She would say that. That's where she told me. No she way, told bro. Me. I, no. Bro, I remember her name. I remember the school. I was six years old. No way, I remember. bro. And then, so you know, when I would speak with my mom in Damn. Spanish. Yeah, when she well, would speak to I me in see. Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> right, I would tell my mom, you know, que habla español, que habla inglés solo. So now I'm trying to get it back, being around my family and everything. Your mom like speaks that. Spanish? Yeah, fluently. Oh. She speaks f- Spanish, Italian, French. Yeah, and you know, I have an affinity because they, because they, because the the island that you grew up in, you grew up in an island where they speak English, uh, French, and Spanish. Yeah, so See, you yeah, are Haitians, what? Haitians have an affinity for languages. Like they're That's awesome. really. They pick up languages very well. I think that's where I get mine from. Like, I speak a little bit of Hebrew. I speak a little bit of Russian. I speak a little bit of Japanese. Wow, you know I mean? that's amazing. Like, I learned a little Yemen the other day and a little <laughs> Pakistan. Like, I, like, I'll meet somebody like, yo, how do you say this? Be like, and you oh, remember? Okay. Yeah. That's good. That's an awesome so, yeah. That's an awesome trade. That's awesome. Um, what else were we going to say? <laughs> My boy said monkey, monkey speaking language with the <laughs> mind-blowing emoji. <laughs> yo. Yo, chill. Carl, Carl, I see you. Carl, Carl's Haitian? Yeah. Say word. Yo, suck my sin. Word. word. I never knew this. I never knew this. What happened, my boy? Carl, what? Yeah, what's going on? Uh, you blocking somebody? Yeah, because they were saying somebody was like, So we're saying what? Somebody got offended, I guess, and they were too immature to handle the conversation. (laughs) Cut it out. (laughs) Yo, I didn't know Carl was Haitian, man. Yeah. That's what's up. up? Yeah, he is. Yeah, man. Yes, sir. Yeah, we blocked him. We got him off. You know the vibes. We still here. Who was it? I don't know. It was some. It said user something something something. Ah, uh, it was somebody. Yeah, one of those with, like, like one of those random. Ass, yeah, yeah, random yeah. ass. Whatever. Listen. Yeah. But it's, it's it's it is what it is. It was an immature moment. Yeah. You see what I did there? An, no, but immature moment. <laughs> you see what I did there? You see what I did there? <laughs> oh man. But yeah, um, I know you wanted to talk about NFTs, right? So so yeah, we still want to. I mean, we are still. Thinking about doing it, and I know the guys are, are working on it, but I've been learning a lot more about it. 
and we really want to have a we want to throw an event maybe like next month or march somewhere in the city and just invite people that that want to learn and and people that have nfts and are trading them and the metaverse and things like that so i guess you know we're gonna we'll probably you know i want to you know, I want to keep coming back on the show and talking about different things, but that's one of the things that I want to talk about. Yeah. I'm just like kind of like educating myself more and more about it. And it, yeah, it's just something that it's inevitable. It's going to happen. Well, I'm like, releasing an NFT. On, yeah, you you showed me last time I was here. Yeah. So what it is, though, I'm currently mixing the song and doing a remix, adding some more vocals, mm -hmm. cleaning it up, whatever. And then whoever buys the NFT, they get uh, the link to... Um, that specific song, and as well, what I, what I'm what I've been learning is that the NFT is only like one part of it. You to really like you need to have like this community. You need to have like this like hype, and you gotta have like yeah. this whole promotion. like promotion of it for for like a, a while. Yeah, before because it drops, that yeah. even if you drop like you need something that's already like brewing and like so because you could drop something and. And nobody could know it. If they don't, nobody care. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. It has to be. That's more important. Yeah. Than than creating like a dope NFT. Like if if, if you your music is really dope, or or like for example for for an artist that's already like jumping, or like even in, in our case yeah. for like an for an artist that's already like say my famous or somebody that's already been doing some dope stuff, and then oh I'm gonna drop it, but they have people that's. Mm. That's what makes it easier. Yeah, um, you know what boy, I mean. Yeah, my boy said NFTs are here because the rich people, strong arm, uh, soft bays, and Christie's. I know Christie's in the city, right? Of course, it's in the middle of um, Rockefeller, so it's a, yeah. it's a, like where you can sell art. So mm. this is, if you know anything about money, art is like one of the biggest ways to like have real equity. Yeah, and. It doesn't depreciate. It never depreciates. Yeah, it so, actually goes up. Yeah, goes up as always. time goes by, it yeah. always goes up. Yeah. It's like it's like real estate. Yeah, yeah. that's that's what's dope. So about he it. said that the reason why NFTs are improved is because the rich strong arm the regular art game. So this is a way of kind of fighting back and letting the small people. Yeah, exactly. What know, he's saying yeah. it's 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 so 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 true. Which is that's why the good like our society is getting so much better. Exactly. Although we complain all, it's so much better. You don't even know like. Do that is taking the power and giving it to everyone. It could be, yep. for example, exactly. like the pandemic. Everything bad brings something good. The yeah. pandemic happened, and then there there were I don't know, so like a million like really intelligent geeky kids all over the world in Japan, Africa, Argentina, like Canada, and America, and they had a year and a half of doing nothing, just creating. What do you think it happened now? Because this would have never happened. If there was no pandemic, because mm -hmm. the world wouldn't have stopped, yeah. and they would have kept working, going yep. and doing their thing. So now there's nothing going on, and like, oh, now I have time to create this. Yeah. And those people that usually like to like get addicted to the computer, and they'll be there for eight, twelve hours. They drink coffee and they talk to each other all, you know, from Russia to here, and that's why it happened. Yeah. But now that is amazing because that gives the power to everyone. Everyone. Mm -hmm. The same. Yeah. Like that's how I feel with like with like crypto. And Bitcoin, like, it really gives power to, like, all, all the people that before, like, if you had to do stocks, you really had to get tips from people and there was no information or, like, the wealthy would always keep, like, keep oh, you know what, like, you have yeah. this huge company, like, oh, my boy Winnie's going to open up this awesome company and, and Sam has this thing brewing in, at the Super Bowl, but Inside I'm not going to tell trading. anybody. Yeah, and yeah. then you were like, you know what, and <laughs> when it comes out, and only like a f certain group of people would know, yeah. and also the company opens up, and you're like, ah, boom, and you dump five million into it, because you already have these tips. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So now, we're taking that away. Hold on, I have to cut you off. That is illegal. That's called insider trading. Yeah. If the FBA finds out, oh, FBI, yeah, fact, yeah. it's a wrap for you. Don't yeah, but, do it. Yeah, yeah, no, but don't it, do it. But to a point, but but it's it's you know, but not even that. Even in the beginning, or somebody starts so, like a company. That, I don't think that's insider trading. Like if something's gonna start and only a group of people know about it. It's when you when you have the the the, the stock and then you you know it's gonna go down because something's yeah, happening that's and you trading. keep and yeah. you keep think, and then you I like you know both, about no? it no nah. because like say so you started a new company right and you only tell like twenty of your friends about it and your company's gonna blow up and you just tell us and we're like all right we're the first investors that's not insider trading because okay. you said but if you if you have something and you have knowledge that the is going bad or you have or you're doing some deal where you know if you sell it. 
you're going to get all this money, but then you don't tell all the stockholders, mm. and then you only tell us, and then we drop all our stocks quick, and you drop all yours, okay. and all of a sudden, like, oh, the stock went away. That's more okay. like that. Okay, or, or when okay, you get, okay. you know, I mean, listen, maybe I'm wrong. There's a lot more way, There's a lot more ways to do inside of trading. But My boy said uh, Warren Buffett and Charlie, Charlie Munger despise crypto. Yeah. I mean, yo. That's crazy. Everybody's going to say it's bad news, but at the end of the Warren, day, the rich. I don't know. Warren Buffett said that? Um, well, he's, your boy says that Warren Buffett said I don't know. I mean, it's. It, but you know, I can see Warren Buffett saying that. Because if you know Warren Buffett, he's someone that. Like, I follow a lot of his tactics as far as whatever I use, I buy the stock. So yeah. I have stock in Crest. I have stock in Walmart. I have stock in freaking CVS. If I, even the gas, like Shell, I only put Shell in my car. I have that stock. Really? Because, yeah, it, it just drives better. But I, if I'm using it. Just drives uh, better. <laughs> it, it, I've noticed it. My gals, my, my mom's really? company. Shell. Sign a check. This um, guy. Uh, but, you know, <laughs> like, All right. So now I'm going to say something right there. For example, like Warren Buffett is somebody that believes in getting wealthy slowly. slowly. And he's yeah. done it. Long he's one built, but it's That's taking him. It's, it's hard to see, I guess, you know, crypto is something so new. Eventually, we're not. It, everything's gonna become crypto. Like that's why the stable center is crypto. That's why all these companies are taking crypto. I paid somebody in crypto this week. Mm. Carl, oh, wow. shout out to Carl. Yeah. Oh wow, that's we crazy. we we did it. We we actually traded um, Ethereum. Okay. And some of my one of my clients so it was gonna was gonna pay me with Ethereum. So there's no stopping it. The thing is that you know how what percentage of the world uses uh, digital coins, crypto? No. Four mm. percent. Oh, that's so think about it. To anything so right now. it's at the beginning, but eventually it's going to like overtake. So like the people that do it now, especially if you have a lot of money and you know what to do, and you're gonna you know be wealthy. Already, like yeah, yeah. they, they yeah. are younger kids that I know that are just like because Killing they did that. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you think about it, if you see like the evolution of like Bitcoin, and I'm just learning. My friend John Penn, shout out to John Penn. I don't know he's not listening, but he put me onto it. He said, "Geo, he goes, forget the cash that you save or the, the money in the bank." If you want it, just put it in. Just put it in Bitcoin. Put it in Bitcoin. Just and he was right. I saw more, more gain. I I I gained more money in like six months, when with crypto than I ever did in any stock. And I wasn't a big stock trader, but the stocks were always like up and down. Yeah. And then and then if you look at it, and you know, like when during the pandemic, I had Tesla, and Tesla was like when I bought it was like one forty six, and then it went up to like. Yeah. But I sold it because the pandemic happened. I was like, I might need the money. Da 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 da. Yeah. That's when that's but think about how long it, I think about how much money I would have to put in and for how long for me to make like, it, you know, if I, what I made in crypto in six months, I would have had to been like day and night trading, getting ideas. Yeah. It's just so it's out of control. Yeah. So people like like Warren Buffett, who I think is, you know, obviously he's an intelligent man. He probably sees it as a new thing that is going to burst and it'll probably but it's not. I mean, for it's, it's not going to go. away. It's going to replace everything. Like that's why. How do we? Oh, sell me, Venmo me. Like we're we're doing. Yeah. We were doing that already. Yeah. Oh, yeah. cash me up. Yeah. Like we're sending digital money, yeah. and then people, you know, that's that's where crypto is basically. Pretty yeah. much. And that's then it takes the power away from the banks. That's what so what, right what do you so use though? Like you don't use like PayPal, right? Like because mm. everybody's like, if you're gonna do that, don't use PayPal. No, I use Coinbase. Coinbase. Okay. So I use Coinbase. Nah, PayPal. But oh, to yeah, me, PayPal, I feel you like can, you can, yeah, like you can, like yeah. crypto. If, <laughs> if you, if you I think every person should invest in crypto. Even like my son, like I bought him a little bit, mm -hmm. and now he has like a little account because it, it's it's the future. And now, like for example, like say you buy, even if you start small, like Ethereum's like I don't know between twenty five hundred and three thousand going up and down. Say you buy two of them, and you had like five thousand dollars, and now you have two, and now say you don't, and then you should put my John Penn told me to do this. Every day, like twenty, like whatever you could afford, twenty five dollars, ten dollars, you know, a hundred dollars. Like I do fifty, or I do twenty five. Every single day comes out of my account. So it's like getting gas at Shell. Yeah. Shout out to Shell. <laughs> 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 so now you like ten. Say, say, let's do, let's do something. Somebody that has like you know like has to keep to take in care of the budget. All right, only fifteen dollars a day. So fifteen dollars every single day comes out of your account yeah. and it goes into Ethereum, right? But and now you're, you're, you're investing in something, and every day you get up and you get addicted to it. It's like a game. 
and then you look at it all day long. So say like you invested five thousand dollars in Ethereum before the pandemic, and now those five that could be like fifty thousand. So you just mm. gave forty thousand dollars in a year. That's like a whole having another person have a, like another regular job, yeah. but you didn't really do anything. You just put it in there. Yeah. So now, what I'm trying, to, I'm losing my thought. Da, 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 da. So now what what it is is like now. Like you go back every morning and you check it. If it goes down for you, it goes down for the entire world. Mm. And you have it in your like this chain. Like this is like you look at it, so it's like not like you get you get. Oh, they sell you a bad stock, yeah. and you're like, and and the traders, ah, oh, it didn't go well. You yeah. know, the tip was yeah. wrong, yeah. so we lost money. Yeah. You know, so you invested five thousand. You only have seven thirty five now. Yeah. You know, it happens. You know, it's investing. It's kind of no. Like you look at it in your phone every yeah. single exactly. day. Nobody's cheating you. Yeah, nobody's cheating so that's why this gave the power to the entire world yeah. so now you have for example like I know Muna Muna's one of my friends and he's one of my MC's he's he's like you know he's been investing during the pandemic and I see him posting things about all the th things he invests and yeah from home he's making money yeah. I know like you know like Santos which is a one. he's one of my technicians I know kids that that, that they just trade. They just trade all the time. And sometimes they make $100, sometimes $80, sometimes $800 in a day. Or sometimes they lose $200. Mm. But then if you do this, now the same thing with NFTs and all that stuff. NFTs, like right now, like NFTs, are, yeah, they're probably going to crash, but it's the same thing. But if you're going to go to crypto, like right now, like everybody has to have, their, there's so many coins, but everybody should invest in it. And the reason why is because that takes the power away from all the wealthy people. But all yeah. the wealthy people are, there for a reason so they're probably investing in so that's what be, they're becoming even more wealthier yeah you don't you know like during the pandemic when when the whole world hurts and people have money that's when they become wealthier mm -hmm. because they take the money and they buy yeah, everything or they exactly. invest more yeah. and they you know like right now like if everything like right now crypto's down for the last two months because why because of the pandemic the winter but as soon as march hits and the starts getting warmer it's going to go back up so if you have like uh, if you could afford it, and you have one, two, three million dollars, and 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 Bitcoin went down to like forty grand, boom, you buy it because it was four sixty nine thousand a few months ago, mm. and it was thirty thousand dollars in June. Yeah, it was even so this is how I know yeah. when I bought it, it was thirty thousand, and now it's like I think forty five or something, but it went out to like sixty something thousand. Mm. But I know it's gonna get to a hundred thousand if you follow the numbers. Numbers never lie. Like it's just been it's been going on for years and years. Imagine people that invested when there was like. Forty dollars or seven hundred dollars, mm -hmm. and they had like twenty, thirty, fifty, and now it's like. Yeah, they but the difference really between did. that yeah. and the stock is like some of the stock. Yeah, it's forty-two thousand dollars for one, yeah. and you could have bought it a year and a half ago in March for like five thousand. Yeah. That's like a thirty-five thousand dollar difference. Huge, so huge. Kelly huge. says, um, she says she feels like the younger generation are into crypto, while the older generation. Um, that's been in the game for a while, stick to what they know as far as stocks. Um, um, I wouldn't say all that per se because there's still like, I mean, damn, what's his face that's in, um, who owns the Mavericks? Um, I know who you're talking about. Yeah, I mean, he's into crypto and all the other stuff. Yeah, there's, there's Mark still Cuban. Mark Cuban, there you go. There's there's a lot of people who are billionaires, millionaires that's all into the crypto. So I don't think it's just an age, it's the age difference though. But yeah, definitely it's a it's a youth wing right now yeah. because right now what's going on is um nobody wants to deal with the banks anymore. So pretty much what NFT, crypto, and like blockchain, all that stuff is, it's pretty much a whole software where it's pretty much decentralizing the government where no government is involved. You ain't got to worry about nothing being stolen or whatever case may be. Banks holding your money. It you could got get stolen money right though, there. It still gets stolen, but you have to have like a. I forgot what the USB thing is called, where you got to put it on the thing yeah. and you save it. But it's pretty much this whole thing is just pretty much separating everything away from the government and banks where everybody's in control. And now it's also even helping out people who didn't have money and be making them rich. Yeah. So it's pretty much helping, you know, oh. close that gap where before you know it, there's going to be no middle class. It's just going to be foreign rich. So this is what this whole NFT shit is going right now. Yeah. It's pretty much trying to fill in the gap where like at the end of the day there's still gonna be that middle where next thing you know if this shit don't work out it's just gonna be poor then it's just gonna be rich yeah it's and like that's just what the government and banks always do yeah that's how it is in other countries and everything else like i know when i went to um nigeria it was beautiful it was so it was so beautiful and 
if you didn't have money though, it wasn't so beautiful. It's not. But it's it like was, Haiti. Yeah, Haiti. Haiti's the poorest country. There's a reason behind that though, but we're gonna talk about that for another yeah. segment. There's a whole I know reason. why. Yeah. So. Um, well, I'm not, not saying I know everything, but I saw. No, I no, saw, yeah, we we, we I see know documentaries. Why. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, yeah. We but know it comes why. down to the government, like you know, just yeah. whatever. That's another topic. But that's a whole other topic. But you know, that's that's how some of these things play out. But I I think you know because we're at the hour mark. Yeah. Um, and I know you got to bounce like too, that. right? Um, I know there's one there's like one question left, but um, let's which we call it uh. But if everyone's doing NFT, what makes an NFT valuable? Pretty much, like, what makes an NFT valuable is pretty much the hype about behind it. You got to put all this marketing and everything like that to the NFT before you actually start selling it. That's pretty much what it is. And also who, who owns it and what. And who owns it, who, yeah. It's, it's, listen, I'm still learning, like, we, you know, that's why we should get somebody in the show on the show that, that's really doing it a lot more. Because mm. I think it's a really interesting topic. That could help all the people that listen to us and maybe even us and other people that, that you know, like you never know who you can help by just doing this or like listening to it. You no, know what absolutely, I mean? of course. So that, because I think that helps everybody. It helps even communities that don't have the reach. Or the, the, but yeah. if, if they, they could even do that. If you get like a really, really smart kid that has the time and it's somewhere in, in the Bronx or somewhere in Suffolk County and he's he doesn't have, you know, anything – <clears throat> to help him out, he might be able to help himself out if he really learns how to do it. <clears throat> Excuse me, now with YouTube and everything. Yeah. Like, you could really get all the knowledge. Yeah. And, like, you know what? And start training. And, you know, it starts by just looking at a cool NFT thing. And then you buy it. And then you see it. But there's so much more to know about NFTs that we don't know. I mean, I don't, I know so much. But, I mean, so, I, I know very little, I think. I think uh, I'm learning more. But it's kind of like a piece of art. It's like, oh, look at this painting. That painting yeah. is like, but that used to be years ago. Now, yeah. Oh, why is this? Oh, well, I was yeah. like, you know, Michelangelo painted that in 1942 or mm -hmm. something. Yeah. So if you think about that year, it took so long. But see how long it took for that painting to, like, that's what, like, technology has done. It just sped everything up. Like, right now, yeah. you could have, like, uh, like Snoop Dogg just build a metaverse. Or, like, his whole neighborhood and stuff. Like, or, like, those, or, yeah. like, the, you know, or, like, the bored apes. Like, it's a group of people. There's only so many. And a group of, like, all these wealthy kids bought it. Or, or kids that even, some of them were, became wealthy because of it. And now it's, like, a whole little society of them. So now th they are going to make it valuable and last. Yeah. Yeah. Who says in, like, five, seven years, like, oh, this apes, it might go down and go to zero. So th I think that's going to happen with NFTs first. Oh, yeah, no, nah, totally. But, but, I, but crypto. It's gonna happen with certain coins, but eventually there's gonna be just like four, like a certain few coins, coins that are just there. Be standing there yeah. You know what I mean? Like now we see, like all right, there's like Apple and there's like Tesla and Coca-Cola and like the big stocks, Netflix, like that. Yeah. It's like a whole bunch, and there's like a few at the top. That's what I. It's gonna be with crypto, and everybody's gonna be able to be, you know, reach out to it. Absolutely. And up. you know, like we're not gonna have to go to the bank and pay a fee, not but there all. are fees now. Like when you, when you, That's you know, when you buy, thanks when, to the Congress that we got. I'm, yeah. <laughs> when you you know when you buy an NFT, do you have to pay like gas? There's like when, if you buy one, right? Yeah, you have to. Like even, if, even if if you, you sell, sell it, it and he wants to buy it, yeah, there's a whole you fee. buy. So like you buy for five hundred dollars. There's a fee that who's doing all these transactions online? There's people that build this whole infrastructure. Yeah. They got to get paid, uh -huh. and they get paid every time. You got to send it to somebody else. Oh, wow. There's like it's called like a gas, you know, gas. Yeah. And you got to pay for that gas out of your money. And it's like fees oh, that damn, come out, okay. yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's not like you just buy for five hundred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's five hundred. No, but then who's who built this whole situation? Exactly. Exactly. You yeah. know. Gotcha. Man, but Geo. We gotta we gotta do do more, yeah, right? We gotta, do we gotta get more, we gotta. Bro. If anybody that's listening right now, I don't know how many people are listening. If you have anybody that really has a lot of knowledge about like Coinbase and yeah. and NFTs, like crypto yeah, and NFTs, like stuff. I would love to have a show and just. Come yeah. here and just listen to them. Yeah, no, nah, absolutely, of course. Yeah, that'd be dope as hell. We'll definitely dope as ask hell. about that and check around, but definitely we appreciate everybody who tuned in. Yes. yes. You guys are amazing. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you for having me. So always here. You know that. Make sure you guys follow Geo on Instagram. And Geo, Geo Events. G-E-O Make sure you guys Events. follow Unscripted. Yes. yes. Unscripted, Unscripted you know Entertainment. The you know the vibes. Yes. You um, know the vibes. <laughs> 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 We're on um, Facebook. We're on scriptedentertainment.com. Um, we're going to be wearing our merch soon so that you guys, if you guys want to purchase merch, you can definitely go visit the website, grab yourself a hoodie, grab yourself a, a shirt, whatever it is that you want. Um, thank you guys that have tuned in. 
Yeah, we appreciate everybody that tuned in, man. We definitely had, you know, a lot of people coming in, a lot of people talking. Yeah. We like talking to everybody. Yeah. We like all the comments in the section. Yes. We reply all the time. We always conversate with everybody. It was fun today. So yeah. definitely it was a Very good time today. It was good. Great topic. We appreciate y'all, yo. Definitely good vibes. Awesome. Um, what was I going to say? We'll see you soon. Yeah, so with that being said, as you know. <laughs> hey, what's up? You are loved. You are appreciated. You are valued. You can do whatever you think. You can do whatever you put your mind to. As long as you believe it, you can achieve it. I messed it up my own saying. We but are, we are Unscripted Podcast. All, all talk. talk. Yo, we out. We out. Peace. Yeah, we are done. <laughs> this is